So in this video, I'm going to be testing the export times for ProRes from an M1 Max and an M1 Ultra. So if I just have a quick look up here on about this Mac, as we can see, this is the Apple M1 Max. This happens to be a MacBook Pro with 32 GPU cores in it. And then when I flip over onto the Ultra, that is a Mac Studio with 48 GPU cores on it. However, the GPU cores don't even come into play for this particular test. What we're doing here is just seeing exactly what the difference is between the two computers as far as their ProRes export abilities are. So let me just jump into the Resolve here. Now just quickly, I've got other videos where there'll be links to them showing you a lot more in-depth information to the project setups and stuff. But basically, this is a 1080p timeline at 24 frames per second and it has got 10 minutes worth of ProRes video here, which is also 1080p at 24 frames per second. In fact, if I just go to the file manager here, as we will see, this is ProRes 4444XQ, 24 frames per second, 1080p. So what I'm gonna do is just jump straight over to the encoder, and I'm gonna be encoding out 10 minutes of 4444XQ, but I'm going to be going to ProRes 422HQ in the process. I'm gonna call this Max, just so I know what it is. Now let me just start the export here. Now we should be able to see from the frame counter there that this is gonna be going very fast. Now nonetheless, this is actually a transcode that's occurring right now, so we are definitely changing from one type of ProRes to another, and there you go, that's done that really quickly. And the time taken for that was 14 seconds. Okay, so let me just flip over now onto the studio. Okay, so I'm now over onto the Ultra now, and if I just have a quick look at about this Mac, as we can see here, Apple M1 Ultra. Once again, this is the base Mac Studio Ultra. And although this has only got the 48 GPU cores in it, the GPU cores, once again, will not come into play for this particular test. So let me just get into the project here. So this is the exact same project. Let me just IO that. And as we can see, there's the same media in the timeline and stuff. So let me just go straight to the exporter. Once again, I'm on ProRes 422HQ for the output, and that is coming from ProRes 4444XQ. I've called this Ultra, just so I know what it is to delete it later. Now, let me just give that a render. As we will see here, this will also be rendering out extremely fast as well. But let's just see exactly how long this takes by comparison to what the Mac's done. Okay, so that's nearly done there. And let's see, and there we go, 15 seconds. So in effect here, the Ultra was actually one second slower than the Max. However, I'm just gonna say that that's some kind of like rounding error. They're basically exactly the same as far as the export times are concerned. We could also see there as well as the frames were encoding that the actual number was roughly there about the same as well. So despite the fact that one says 14, one says 15, they're basically identical. Now, what do we draw from this particular test, considering that the Ultra has got two times the encoders? Well, basically, all that I can work out from this is that those encoders don't kind of double up or anything. So maybe if there's some kind of a task going on within Resolve where it could use two encoders for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe that's where we would see this difference. Now, in FCP, it's the exact same story as well. However, we may see an update to either FCP or Resolve, which may take account of the extra encoder during the export stages, in which case we would expect to see half of that speed. But as it stands right now, there is absolutely no difference between a Max and an Ultra as far as the exporting of ProRes is concerned. Anyways, that should do it for this video. And for anybody who's interested in the way that these projects are set up and are a bit more detail about them, there will be links at the end of this video and also in the description below, taking to other videos with a lot more detail as to like what the project setups are like and stuff like that. Anywho, let me know in the comments what you think of this and why the results are basically the same. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.